So the hold seller trade, the idea here is that we are going to look at items from my personal collection, much as you would view a stock. Numnub, is that is that right? And, and I'm trying to just uh, remember from my actual memory who these characters are. This is, of course, was the co-pilot uh, with Lando uh, during the, uh, the second Death Star run. Uh, and a uh, very popular figure. I felt that he was actually kind of done dirty in the in the Disney Disney Wars Star Wars uh the uh what was that the Force Awakens I felt like they really kind of just made him like just another generic pilot which didn't make any sense to me cuz at that point he should be like a big leader if not in the rebellion or whatever the resistance right uh I don't even go there I'm sorry I, I if you like Disney Wars hey more, more power to you I do not other than Rogue One I love Rogue One. I own Rogue One. So I'm not a complete Disney Wars hater, but I didn't like what they did with this character. So um, the one thing I will say is he's not complete. I remember losing the gun. I remember really liking the gun. And I remember being very disappointed, even as a kid, that I lost the gun. But uh, I don't think he held it all that well. Uh, I guess I'll use that justification. Uh, but uh, yes, yeah, so he's not complete. And I do wish I had some more pictures. Like at least I should have tried to take a picture of the back. But he's in pretty good condition from what I can what I can see and from what I remember when I was uh, when I was taking this picture. So uh, hold, sell, or trade. Hold, sell, or trade. This is the B wing pilot. Now he is you can't really see it that well in this picture, but his legs are a little bit bent. Um, you can you can kind of see it if you really look. You can see that his legs are a little bit bent. So he's not in the best condition. I remember losing his gun right away. He had a very small gun. And I remember even thinking that as a kid, like, dude, I'm going to lose this, you know, even though like I took care of my toys and you can see a lot of my toys are still complete, but I knew <laughs> this guy's gun was so wimpy and so small. Uh, I, I think I lost it like immediately, but this is the uh, B wing pilot. The funny thing is I really wanted the A wing pilot uh, because I was really into the scene in return of the Jedi when uh, green leader, uh, you know, sacrifices himself to destroy the super star destroyer. I really like that character. I, I really am into a lot of obscure Star Wars characters that are really relevant. And, you know, the the, uh, the green leader uh, in uh, Return of the Jedi is is an awesome character. I was really fascinated. Plus, I love the A-Wing. When I, I never got it, which, by the way, the A-Wing was part of the droids line. Technically, it was, as I understand it, it wasn't part of the, uh, the initial um, Star Wars line. It was part of the droids line. But... Uh, yeah, so this is the B-wing pilot. I don't know why I got him instead of the uh, the uh, the A-wing pilot because again, I was I was very into Green Leader, but for whatever reason, I got the B-wing pilot. And the funny thing is, I never had a B-wing and I never had an A-wing. You know, the A-wing was my thing. I really liked it, and it's funny because I I I will show you my one and only droid figure in a little bit. Although I kind of messed up on the picture. But um, yeah, I never got either one of them. I, I did have a friend who had a B-Wing, and that was a really cool toy, man. That was a really sweet toy. But uh, yes, yeah, so I have the figure, the B-Wing pilot. Hold, sell, or trade on my B-Wing pilot. He is not complete. He does not have his, his accessory, and uh, it's hard to tell, but one of his legs is kind of bent, too. So he's not, like, in the greatest condition. But uh, I guess one argument, too, is if you do think I should hold it, um, should I try to get the gun? I actually was watching uh, another YouTube channel uh, recently, and uh, he was getting all of the all of the Star Wars figures up until uh, the cartoons, right? So he got all of the movie figures, if you will, the original movie figures. And he was talking about how he had certain items already from his his childhood collection, and he had to acquire uh, the weapons, uh, which are expensive, right? They're really expensive. Although my understanding is there are repos now. And I'm curious what people think about that. Like, what if I was to get a repo for the B-Wing pilot, if I did decide to hold him? And that would be the same with, with, with this figure as well. Uh, should I try to get, you know, repos or something like that so I could have them complete? I wonder what folks think about that. All right, this is an interesting figure. Uh, this is the mail order, vision, mail order version of the Emperor, okay? And I'm curious if anybody knows... Is there a way to distinguish that? Because uh, my understanding is the Emperor was released on a card back as well. So I'm curious if anybody knows if there's a way to make that distinction. I know my version for a fact is the mail order version. 
And I don't know if there's any way to make a distinction on that, if they're more rare, if they're more coveted or they're less coveted. Maybe the, it's actually the card back version that people want. But uh, I wish I still had the original box because I remember I actually did keep the box for a little while for some reason. I was like storing something in it. And I remember that as a kid. But this is the mail order version of the Emperor. As you can see, he is complete. I mean, all he has is a cane. Uh, this is the back of him. Uh, he's in pretty good condition. Uh, this is one of those figures that I think is kind of hard to mess up, right? Because just because like the way that his legs are, see the, the bottom of his feet there and everything like that. But this is my mail order ver version of the Emperor. And I am curious if anybody knows, is there a way to make a distinction about that? Is there is there is one more coveted than the other? Because I'm pretty sure the Emperor also came out on a card back. But again, this is the mail order version. And I don't know if there's any way to distinguish that with collectors and whether one version or the other is more coveted. But uh, hold, sell, or trade on my mail order, mail order version of the Emperor. Mail order version. So I, I actually, you know, got the little proofs of purchases and actually sent away for this guy. So, and again, I, I'm just curious if anybody knows if there's a way to distinguish that, you know, between, because I'm pretty sure there was a card back version of the emperor as well, but uh, that the one that I just showed you, this is the mail order uh, version of the emperor. Uh, this is the medical droid. Uh, as you can see, his leg is bent. I think I showed that pretty well in this picture, which kind of stinks, uh, but yeah, his leg is bent. And of course, his accessory is missing. I'm sure his accessory is like very hard to find because that thing, it didn't, it, you know, it's just basically like a little, I don't even know what you call it, like a little probe or something like that that goes into his claw and it doesn't fit in there all that great, you know, like it's kind of loose. So I'm sure that's got loss all the time. But I would imagine sometimes his little like, um, I don't know what you call that. It's kind of funny because he's a droid, but it looks like he has like a, a breathing apparatus, right? And I, I seem to remember friends of mine that they lost that piece. So mine does have that. So that's, I guess, one plus on the medical droid. Uh, but again, he's missing his accessory. One of his legs are bent. So hold, sell, or trade on the medical droid. Uh, I, I'll be I'll be honest. I don't have a lot of um, emotional attachment to this one. You know, it's like like uh, of the ones I've shown you, probably this one and the B wing pilot. I have like the the least emotional attachment. The emperor is such a classic figure. I, you know, that's kind of like mm, I don't know. I don't know. But um, yeah, this is this is one that uh, he's not in the best of shape. So I'd be curious what people think. If I was to sell it, what do you think the value would be? Because he is missing his accessory, and one of his legs, as you can see, is clearly bent. So I don't know what this thing would be worth. Speaking of 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 uh, figures that are not in the best of condition, this is my Vespin Han. Okay, um, and you can see this is ratty, right? This is this is in bad shape, and I, I wonder what people think about this. By the way. What what do what do collectors think of figures that are in this bad of condition? So I mean, it's still a vintage figure, right? But this is obviously a figure that was very very played with. Now you will notice if you or if you've been watching, right? If you've been noticing my other figures, my other figures are in pretty good shape, right? I mean, let's be honest. I mean, I took pretty good care of this stuff, and I did play with this stuff. This is stuff from my childhood collection, and if you look at it, they're in pretty darn good shape. So you might be wondering, hey, what's up with this one? <laughs> Why is that one so so bad? You know, uh, uh, base god. What 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 would what, what, you do with this one? Well, there is a story behind my best Ben Han. So I grew up going to Catholic school, okay. And one of the things that would happen at Catholic school was that if you misbehaved or if you brought things to school that were considered inappropriate or you know, sometimes stuff would get lost. But a lot of times, what happened was the teachers would confiscate toys like if you were playing with toys like in class and uh, the the teacher would come and take the toy from you and when i was growing up and going to catholic school that was perfectly fine i, I don't know i can't talk about public school at the time but at, at private school at catholic school if a teacher took your toy that's it you know what i mean it wasn't like your parents going to come over and yell at the teacher um especially when the teacher might be a nun they're not going to yell at the nun and say the kid needs his toy back. That, that was it. So what the question, so the question you might be asking yourself if you didn't have that experience is so what did the teachers do with the confiscated toys? 
Well, what they did was they gave them as rewards to children that were behaving well. <laughs> That's what they did. And I was a pretty, you know, I was basically a goody two shoes. I mean, I was a very well behaved child uh, when I was when I was young. And uh, I remember distinctly one year, the teacher pulled out all these confiscated toys, confiscated and lost. Some of them had been just stuff that kids lost and nobody claimed and said, hey, uh, this is your reward for doing good this year for attendance, whatever it was, or for just being a good kid. Uh, pick one, pick one. And this is what I picked. So this was actually a confiscated toy from one of probably one of my classmates. And I got it as a reward for being a good, a good kid, a good student or whatever. And that's why it's in such terrible condition. You can tell that this is something where they played outside with it. And this was a kid who didn't really take good care of his toys. Obviously, he's missing uh, his weapon. But that's why this Bespin Han is in such uh, bad shape. And I'm curious, wholesaler trade. I mean, what do you think this is worth? I mean, obviously, he's in terrible condition. And his, jo his joints are very loose, too. I mean, this is something that was not... Um, this is something that was not well taken care of, but it was well loved, right? It was well, it's in well loved condition. Um, okay. Uh, and let's see here. This is my Chewbacca figure. Now, I believe, I believe my brother may have his own Chewbacca figure. So I'm a little confused whether this is truly my Chewbacca figure or whether it might be my brother's or whether maybe I didn't have one, but, but I feel like my brother had his own Chewbacca and I had my own Chewbacca. That's what I feel like. And I have to check uh, the, the collection of my brother's figures to see if there is another Chewbacca in there, but I feel like there is. And I'm curious if there, if I do have two Chewbacca's, do you guys know if there's a way to determine like what series that they were? Because I'm sure if my, if, if my brother, my brother's Chewbacca, I'm sure came with, you know, from the original, you know, the original uh, line, like the first wave. My Chewbacca probably came from like Return of the Jedi or something like that. Now, obviously, I don't have the card backs, but I'm curious if anybody knows if this is in fact a second Chewbacca, is there a way for me to differentiate it if my brother does in fact have his own Chewbacca? So as far as I know, the way I remember it, we both had Chewbacca's. So, uh, uh, but I have to, I haven't confirmed that. So this could actually be a wave one Chewbacca, but if it's, if, but if, if it's how I remember it, this might be a return of the Jedi Chewbacca. And I don't know exactly how you distinguish that. Um, I'm sure there's also, you know, obviously their empire strike back Chewbacca's too. Like I'm sure that he came out in all the different card backs. So anyway, this is my Chewbacca. Uh, I would be curious, you know, if people know how to figure out which one he is. If there is a way to figure out which one he is, or if it's just like when they're loose like this, it is what it is. But uh, this is Chewbacca. I believe my Chewbacca. And I do believe that my brother has another Chewbacca, but I, I, I haven't confirmed that. I haven't confirmed that. So it could be my brother's Chewbacca. He might have slid in there. But the way I remember it is we both had our own Chewbacca for whatever reason. So now this is the bounty hunter Leia. Uh, this is her with the uh, with the helmet on. And uh, here's a picture of her with the helmet off. So you can kind of see the condition of her face. Uh, I, I really probably should have zoomed in on her face, especially since you can see the condition of the figure pretty well in this picture. And it is in pretty good shape. Um, I am missing her gun, which I'm kind of like, how did I lose her gun? Because her gun was huge. <laughs> so I have no idea how I would have lost that. Because as you can see, like I've got the gun for my Chewbacca. You know, I've, I've got the, uh, I've got the cane for my emperor. Um, but, you know, it's it's sort of a, 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 it's just weird, right? You know, these things were played with. These were played with toys. They're loose. Uh, but for some reason, I've lost her gun, and her gun was massive. Uh, but I do like this figure. And again, wholesaler trade on Bounty Hunter Leia. And uh, the other question would be, should I try to get the the gun? And if I get the gun, should I should I try to get, a you know, an original version of the gun or a repo? You know, what do you think? I mean, if I'm just going to display it, I don't think it really matters if I get a repo. But obviously, if I want to sell it um, and try to sell it as complete, I don't know how much sense it makes to try to get that gun because it feels sometimes like the accessories are more than the figure, right? Because they're just they're just hard to get because people want to have them with the figure, right? So it's like they're hard to get. 
this is my uh, Hoth Luke. I really like this figure. You can you can tell he's he was well loved. This is this one I I notice is not in the best of condition, and this was my figure. It's not like I got it from somebody else or anything like that. But I remember playing with him quite a bit, and and you're gonna see why in a second too because I have a a great accessory for him. But you can see his gun is right there. It's complete. It's not broken. I imagine the strap gets broken. Um, I like the fact that you can do this. You know, it helps so that the the weapon doesn't get lost. Um, but you can see that uh, you know his paint's not terrible. You know what I mean? He he is getting some yellowing and stuff. You can see in the back. I, I took quite a few pictures of this figure. I think uh, in part because I realized that he is a little bit you know well loved. You know that's that's the term I'm going to use uh, because you can see that some of the paint just isn't that great. So it's like um, wholesale or trade on the Hoth Luke, but he can't just be the, the Hoth Luke. He has to have his Tauntaun. He has to have his Tauntaun. So I, so I do have the Tauntaun. You can see it's com it's more or less complete. It's missing the um, the harness, right? It's missing the, the strap that, that goes into the uh, the Tauntaun's mouth, if I, if I remember right. But the nice thing is he does have his saddle. I know a lot of my friends, even growing up, they would break the saddle and they would lose it. Because this, this saddle, um, it, especially if you tip, for whatever reason, if you put it on and take it off a lot, it will break. It will break because the plastic is not like, it's just not that durable. But this, this is the, uh, the Tauntaun uh, with, with Luke. And so I, I feel like if I was to uh, sell one, I'd have to sell the other. Like I'd have to sell them as a set. And I'm curious what people think about that. But if I keep them, you know, that's the way to display it, right? So hold, sell, or trade on my Tauntaun. And again, I feel like it, it's got to go with the Luke, right? They, they just they just go together so well. So they, they have to go together. Uh, incidentally, my brother has the Hoth um, uh, uh, Han Solo, which would also go very well with the Tauntaun, right? That's also one that would go well with the Tauntaun. But we, I only have one Tauntaun. Also, I'm curious what folks think. Do you think the Tauntaun should be regarded as an action figure? Or do you think the Tauntaun is a vehicle? I think that's that's a good question to put out there. Like the Tauntaun is really in the middle. Like for me, I actually consider like Jabba the Hutt, uh, the Rancor, and the Wampa uh, to be action figures. And I know a lot of people don't for whatever reason. But to me, they're action figures. But the Tauntaun has like a special place. Is the Tauntaun an action figure or is the Tauntaun a vehicle? You know, how, how, how do you catalog it uh, as far as your collection? But again, hold seller trade on the Tauntaun and Luke. Speaking of Luke, uh, this is another version of Luke. You can, I wish I'd got, I kind of zoomed on his face. You can actually, even in this picture, you can kind of see there is some, like um, uh, the paint is coming off of his nose. Uh, he is missing his gun. He is missing his gun, but he has his, his cloak and he does have his lightsaber, but he is missing his gun. So he's not complete. And I, I don't know how well you can see in this picture, but his his face is not in the best of shape. Again, I, I'm sorry about these cloak figures. Like, you know, I should have taken pictures with them without the cloak on just so you could see the condition of the of the figure better. But uh, he is uh, he is nearly complete. He's just missing his gun. And again, if I was to keep this, should I try to get the gun? And should I try to get an original version? Or should I try to get, a, you know, a repo version of the gun to have him complete? Uh, honestly, I, I kind of feel like I don't want to hold this one simply because he's not complete and because he's not in the best of shape. So, but again, hold, sell, or trade on Jedi Luke. Jedi Luke. Uh, this is another interesting one. This is my uh, cloth uh, Jawa. I know that the vinyl Jawa is far more coveted, but uh, this is my Jawa. I always liked, you know, small characters and stuff. You know, I was a little kid when Star Wars came out. So I gravitated towards things like Jawas, Ewoks, R2-D2, anything that was kind of cute, uh, I liked as a kid. And the funny thing is my brother, he had his own Jawa as well. And he actually has the playset. In fact, when I show my brother's collection, if I'm able to do that in a future episode, I'll show you the playset. He had the um, the actual uh, Sandcrawler uh Playset, the one that was paper, but you know the the base was is plastic, um, and he still has it. Uh, and it's not necessarily the greatest shape because it's, it's it is paper. It is what it is, but it's still complete as far as I know. And it also comes with the escape pod. But anyway, this is my Jawa. Uh, I know my brother has one too, and I believe my brother's is uh, cloth as well. I know the vinyl Jawa is much more coveted, but this was probably uh, you know 
probably issued on a Return of the Jedi card back. Uh, I would be interested to know if anybody knows if there's a way to differentiate my Jawa from my brother's Jawa, other than the fact that this was with my stuff. And so I can say it was my Jawa. I'm curious if people know if there's any way to figure out like which wave of Jawa it is, because this I, I believe is obviously mine, but it could have got, I could have confused it with my brothers. Right. And I, and I believe my brothers with the, with the cloth Jawa as well, but uh, this is my Jawa hold seller trade. And again, how do you like the Chewbacca I was talking about earlier? How do you figure out which which wave these are from? Uh, if anybody has an insight on that, uh, I would be really appreciative. Um, this picture is is bad. I'm going to say right off the bat. Uh, actually, I'm going to do the coin first. So this is uh, Kez Iban or Ebon. I don't know how you pronounce it. I, I remember this character, but I don't I don't remember his name at all. This is the Lost Prince. Uh, from the droids line. This is my one and only droids figure. I almost didn't show this uh, because you'll see the picture. Well, I'll show the picture. All I have is the back. Uh, the picture I took of the front uh, came out so terrible because it got washed out basically by the by the flash. I was kind of experimenting with using the flash and not using the flash, and he got completely washed out. But the good thing you can see is that he does have his satchel, and I believe. This is his gun. Now I don't know any way to figure that out for sure. Uh, obviously, this is the this is the the stormtrooper gun uh, that, uh, and also I think a lot of the different other imperial uh, figures would have this type of gun. But I believe it actually came with my droid figure, my one and only droid figure, the the Kez Iban. Okay, so I don't know if there's any way to figure that out. Like, I don't know if there's anything that would be different about these guns that were issued in the droids line or if they're just super generic. But I feel like that goes with this figure and therefore he's complete. But I'm not positive. So if anybody has some insight in that, I'd appreciate it. But again, wholesale or trade, I, I, I feel like the droid figures are pretty rare. Again, I wish I had a, a good picture of the front. I apologize about that. But I do have the coin and I believe, I believe this is his gun. But I don't know. I don't know for sure. And I don't know if that's the type of gun that he was supposed to have or he did have or whatever. But again, I apologize for the uh, quality of the picture. Um, I, I, I know that uh, the front would be <laughs> kind of nice to see. But again, hold seller trade on Kez Iben, I believe, complete. I believe he's complete, but obviously loose.